ka office jong deputy commissioner ribo district shibanta barake ka national waters day arjar ka khndai kan plong ya ka open marathon haka arpusan tarik ukla lengkot arjar ka khndai nadu kapor prabaj jemen step kaban sedang nadu indoor stadium siden bad an pukut pat ha indoor stadium umlang kedai ki khusnam na kabenta ki nong job kan long san hajar lai hajar bad ar hajar na kabenta kan thei bad chenrang kitu ki bodon ne ga jingthumu bani shimenta kila ban lek ban register ka office jong district sport officer nong po Nadu ka kandru terik ke lalengkot, hadu ka arp sao terik ke lalengkot, haki por terik kam ofes. Ban perskam sendon, ya ka jing temu, ban ay ka jing syakri ke babha, sya upaj bah, kam tam, ban perklain ru, ya ka senjuk ke balarim bah. Gari buhoi dor bar, mentah ka sengi ke lapelong, ya ka jing halang bah, ke baringkong. Hadin balarai ban perki imbiang, ya ka ni ka senjuk, da ka pepelong ru, ya ka general council, hapo ka circuit house, nong po. Ha ka bala sakhiru, ya ka jing pelaj pai bah. Ya ka constitution, lani ka matri kam, jokari buhoi dor bar, ya ka bala pelaj, jau bah HS sila, chief executive, Member ke KHADC Lawan ban presid pesengan Hakan ni ke General Council Dau Konrad K. Sangma Menteri Rangba ke Jela Kumukong San Ubala Syembe ke Bentah Ban Pukup Burom Yaubak IK Molong Menteri Rangba Barim ke Jela Bam Kuai Hadwa Rublai Kumjuru Yaubak Jadi Rambai Menteri Rangba Barim ke Jela Bat Yaki Amali ke Ribuah Distrik Hakan ni ke Jaya Langjong ke Ribuah Darbar Lai Syembe Bentah Langru Dau Dr. Didi Lapang Nong Ai Buj Barangba ke Sokrat Jela Ubalong Ru Ushib Advisor Jokas Njuk Ubak Meryl Bones M Amali ke Nupok Konsensi Uba Dasa Kiat Lamare, MLA ke Mahwati Konsumsi. Uba Jason Sokmi Molong, MLA ke Umsning Konsumsi. Nalor kinong kitkam jong keribuhi dorbar ke Pekentum. Uba RR ke Saima Kedok, Presiden ke Senjung. Uba TR Malai, Advisor. Uba CBCM, Senior Vice President. Uba Fabian Lengdo, Lembat Kiwi Kwee. Lembah kari ke Jinyalang Ba, Lapan Sengoru, Ia ke Tong, Jong ke Senjung. Haka Ban Chakri, Ia ke Baha Kamiat, Upa Iba. Bat ke Imlang ke Salang. Kamtam Ban Wararu, Ia ke Roy Kapar. Bat Kumcuru, Ban Pembik Nyok Mardor, Ia ke Jing Kajaput, Ha Blok 2. Ya ka bala pun sengau hau konrat ke sangma kumu menteri rangba ke jela ban simkia lengba ka sorkar MDA uba RB sedap kumu sekretari ke senjung ula pun sengau ya ka dorka sakmat u menteri rangba ke jela halor ka jingdong kam ban ke tiu ke dano ya ka patak ma administrative unit sya ka civil subdivision ban panjing rap ru nak ka sorkar jela nak ka menta ban penyo ikilat jing rap ha ka bantai ya ka office rekam ke pura jogari boy darbar ha po nong po ban dawaru nak ka sorkar jela ban penyo ru sa artri ki CNRD blok Kata Hamawati Barha Umden. And we are very thankful to you, sir, the first instance that you have really adjusted your time to come here, in spite of the fact have to write to Delhi and your friends, and we will give a blessing to you for going, and we are against the uh, citizen amendment bill, which is being forced to damage our existence and the tribals and the minority and the government, and we will not Go ahead and spoil the program. I will very well allow you sufficient time to tell what you want to say, especially words of blessing from you. Well, Revolver War is a non political platform. That's why we are here, emanate from different, country, different parties, is that the, the political identity will not stand as barriers to our unity and our main vision mission and determination. Revoid is a very positive state as God has providentially blessed and we are thankful that the government also, the Meghalaya government has always been looking to revoid with all sympathy and was a blessing. That's why it's come up. And all the more, we have been the obvious having this that as a spirit expression district. And this is all the blessing you have given to us. Memorandum to the Chief Minister, Government of Meghalaya. Respected sir, the Riboy Darbar is an apex body of all prominent citizens of Riboy District, whose inception can be traced way back to 1965. This body can be credited with highlighting the issues concerning the people within the geographical boundaries of Riboy District. Among the most important issues tried and achieved by the Riboy Darbar are the upgradation of the Nompo Administrative Unit to Civil Subdivision in 1976 and also the creation of the Riboy District on the 4th June 1992. During the, during the tenure of Dr. Didilapang as the founder of Riboy Darbar as the then Chief Minister of the State. Sir, at this juncture, the Riboy Darbar would like to delineate 
some major important issues con concerning the development of the river district. It would not be out of place to mention here that the Patarkama Administrative Unit has been languishing due to the lack of proper administrative attention to the people's need. The administrative unit has an approximate population of around more than 20,000 people of that area, and due to the absence of proper route and other means of communication, would have to travel many hours to the district headquarters at Nopo. Even for trivial matters concerning administrative issues, Therefore, the Riboy Durbar strongly feels that it would greatly help the people if the Patarkma administrative unit be upgraded to a civil subdivision. Another issue concerning the people of the district is that the CNRD blocks within the district are often overburdened, with hundreds of villages falling under each CNRD block. This gives rise to the sluggish movement of development sch developmental schemes and inadequate attention to the people's needs. The Revoider Bar has observed that speedy developments may be ushered in to people and the district if the government could start two new CLRD blocks at Umgen area and Mahati area. These two areas are located remotely from the nearest CNRD blocks, thereby preventing people to gain proper access to the developmental scheme laid down by the government. We had planned this program about almost a month back to be hosted in the month of December. But due to different uh, circumstances and different events and situations, we were not able to hosted during that time, but I do thank Almighty God for giving us this wonderful time and this day for bringing us all together. And I would like to repeat what Sir Dr. Didi Lapang has said. It is so wonderful to see in the same platform leaders from different political backgrounds and different political parties and yet here today on the dais, coming together for the cause of the people of Riboy district. I think it's a wonderful sight. And it just shows how much each and every individual who's sitting here today, they might have fought in elections against each other. But when it comes to the issues of Riboy district, they have decided to let go of those differences and work unitedly to take the district forward. I think it's a great example for every district in the state and for the entire population of our state of Meghalaya. So I must thank the Riboy Darbar for really taking this wonderful initiative and bringing each and every one of us here together. As our local MLA was mentioning, Bamelbon CM was mentioning, that yes, I think we are for the first time sitting so close to each other. Otherwise, in assembly, we are very far away. <laughs> he is on that corner and I am on this corner. And we fight. And we argue. But it's all for the state and for the people of our state that we fight. Because we try to bring out the best that we can. Our intentions are the same, and that is why I'm so happy today to see Bar Merrillborn also here with us, and all leaders from so many political parties here with us. Another thing I want to mention, and it's so great to see, we have Mr. D. Lamare, who I'm guessing is about 26 years old. We have Mr. Merrillborn Sien who I am guessing is about 38 years old. We have Mr. Jason Sokme, I think who is about 28 years old. George is not here, but George Lindo must be about 35 years old. And Basotun actually he's the oldest among the Mebenes. He's 45 years old. <laughs> Do you see the age group that you have out here? People have, boy, have decided that they want to 
have young people to represent them. I'm not saying that old people are not important, but they want to see young leadership come up. And these people are from different political parties. I think it shows the forward-looking you know, mindset, the futuristic mindset of the people of Reboi, that you want to bring young, dynamic people to be there to represent you so that they can work for you. I think it's a great sight and a great example once again for this district. And at the same time, we are seeing people like Sir Dr. Didi Lapang and other so many senior people here right with them to guide them, to support them, to take that vision forward and to work together. I'm so sorry I'm taking so much time in explaining this, but I'm truly touched by seeing the kind of unity and kind of work and the kind of you know, commitment that everybody has to take the Revoy District forward. And let me assure you that as a government and as the Chief Minister of the State, we are with you, we are behind you, and we will work along with you in every step of the way. I know that there are many issues that have been there concerning Riboy District. I would like to just mention about the aims and objectives for which the Riboy Darbar was brought out. It's for the unity of Riboy District. And I think we can all see the unity out here. There's an issue of interstate boundary problem, which I think <coughs> Sir Dr. D. Lapa has very appropriately mentioned about the issue of Block 2 was very, very clearly mentioned. And let me tell you, as a government, we are very much concerned. And time and again, this issue has been discussed at many forums, officially, unofficially. This is an important issue, an issue that has really been there for many, many years. And consecutive governments have been trying to find ways and means of resolving these issues. I know that at the end of the day, it is the people at the border area who face the brunt and the difficulty and the challenges of these issues and complications. It's not that easy to resolve this issue. But let me tell you, as a government, we are committed to move forward in this. We are committed to continue fighting and to ensure that our people in the border area do not suffer. So, sir, as you have mentioned, and as, as many of the other MLAs have mentioned, this is an issue that we are taking on a priority basis. It's an issue that we are always concerned with, and we will do our best to find ways and means to resolve this issue. So, at the same time, I know that you have mentioned about different, different development issues that are there in this district. I was trying to keep up with Bob Merrillborn when he was talking about the different programs, but sadly the paper ran out. I didn't have any more space to write. But it shows the concern that as a young legislature, he has for his constituency, for each and every one of you. And all the other MLAs, they've mentioned so many different points. Reboy district out of 115 districts throughout the country and out of the 11 districts in Meghalaya has been very appropriately selected as an aspirational district. What happens when you're selected as an aspirational district? As an aspirational district, top priority is given by government of India and the government of Meghalaya in terms of ensuring that development aspects come to that aspirational district. It has been selected on the basis of knowing the economic condition of the people out here and how to take it forward to a new level. I am very happy to inform you that under the aspirational district in Jaram constituency, Government of India has sanctioned 11 crores for a new college to be put up. 